September is Self-Care Awareness Month, and if you've never had a self-care routine, now might be the time to start one. Self-care can be beneficial for both your physical and mental health. Psychologists say that self-care should be intentional, meaning you should make sure to set time aside in your normal routine. It also doesn't have to be something demanding or expensive. What does matter is that it makes you feel good or relaxed. Some examples could be going for a walk outside if you enjoy nature, taking a bubble bath, journaling, socializing with friends, or meditating. It can also be something physical like working out or eating healthy. Self-care is not about being selfish. In fact, it's quite the opposite. It allows someone to take some much needed time for themselves. So doing this kind of work uh, thoughtfully in a very planned way, it is absolutely a vital part of us as uh, at an individual level being more effective in the world around us. And I will often say, especially, especially to, to women, um, you got to be, you know, it's the uh, oxygen mask on the airplane analogy. You know, you got to, they tell you, they tell you that when you get on, you got to put it on yourself first before you help others. Dr. Sacco says developing a self-care routine can take some time in some cases, especially if you're trying to get used to new habits. So don't feel pressured to meet a certain expectation or deadline.